Hey guys, my name is Sarah Martin and I'm the Adobe Brand Ambassador here at The Ohio State University. And based on some of my poll results that I put the, on the other day, most of you guys wanted to see how to do a tutorial of how to create your very own customized preset um, in Adobe Lightroom. And so I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Um, so the first step that you have to do is download Adobe. Um, Lightroom and you can do that very easily through clicking the link in my Instagram bio and it will just take you to a direct link to download um, Ohio State students get 60% off um, of Adobe of the Adobe Creative Suite if you guys are interested in that but if you just want a free trial of it for a week go ahead and do that as well um, but yeah so we'll just go ahead and get started so the first thing that you have to do is once you have Adobe um, Lightroom downloaded you can go ahead and press this import button and you just got to find the photos that you want edited. So in my case, I have a folder on my desktop and these are the photos that I want to edit. These are photos of my friend Eric. They're very, very cute. And so I just kind of want to amp up the colors a little bit and apply the same filter on all of these photos. So what you want to do is press import once you selected the photos that you want. And I'll import real quick. All right, perfect. So once you have all the photos that you want imported, you can go ahead and import more if you want, but if you have all of them that you want right here, you can go ahead and press this develop button up here. And this is where all the magic happens. So I want to start off with editing this photo right here. And when I'm looking at it, it looks pretty um, high quality for the most part, but some of the colors aren't as vibrant as I would like them to be. So what I'm gonna do, here, and this is where the preset will come into play as well. Um, so I'm just going to edit this photo the way that I want it to. So I'm going to make it a little bit warmer to kind of amp up those yellows and to make it a little bit happier. Um, so that actually made a big difference just by adding this nice little warm tone to it. And I'm also going to amp up the exposure because it's a little bit dark for my liking. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make the shadows a little bit more apparent, so I can do that by sliding this bar down, so it makes everything a little bit darker with the shadows there. Um, and it, even though it is pretty clear right now, I kind of want to amp up the clarity and texture a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Perfect. Um, let's see here. So I'm actually, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more warmth to this and a little bit more exposure. Perfect. So this is what I kind of like the most. Maybe I'll amp up the uh, vibrance a little bit as well. Um, and there's a lot of other effects that you can do um, in Lightroom. You can sharpen stuff. You can reduce the noise, so reducing all the little grains that might be on your photo. Um, you can also add little vignettes. Um, around your photo if you'd like that as well, add some highlight, and you can even add grain to give it a more vintage and edgy look if you want to do that. So I'm pretty happy with the way that this photo looks right now, so I'm going to go ahead and make my preset. So now that I'm happy with this effect that I've created for Eric's photo here, I'm going to go ahead and make a preset for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to this presets tab. It might be up or down, but it'll be on the left hand side and there's a little plus icon right here and so you're going to go ahead and press that I'm going to go ahead and create a preset and this is also where you can import presets and manage them so you can delete them or arrange them whatever you want to do with that um, but in this case I'm just going to go ahead, go ahead and create this preset that I've made so this is all of the different things that it's going to kind of put together in the preset so these are all the different effects that I've done with like saturation vibrance and things like that um, sharpening, noise reduction, everything that I kind of worked on a little bit here. You can also name it, so I'm just going to do Eric, um, Vibrant Yellow. Um, I'm just going to name it that. And then you can put it in groups if you want. I just am putting it in the user presets, which are over here. Um, and this looks good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and press Create. And so that means that my preset has been made and you can find it let's see here, right here. So I, these are some other presets that I've made in the past and so you can kind of hover over them when you're editing to see if it works for some photos when you're editing. Like this even works a little bit. I really like this preset. Um, so anyway, but I'm going to stick with this. 
Now, I kind of want to just apply this to all of my photos, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through them. Click it. That's what I want. And a great thing about these presets, too, is let's say for this photo, um, I think it's too yellow. You can still go in and edit it directly. Um, it won't edit the preset. It'll just edit that photo that you're working on right now. Um, so that's a really helpful thing for me. Um, but yeah, so I hope that this helps. I'll go ahead and show how to export these really quick just in case anyone has questions about that. So go ahead and go File, Export, and then you can make a specific folder if you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to press New Folder, Eric by Grant Edited. And I just want that to be on my desktop. Perfect. So it's going to be right here. Choose. So that's where it's going to be. And another great thing about this too is you can name your uh, photos directly right here. Um, in this case, I'm just going to name it Eric and then have the original file number there. Um, and everything looks good to me with the file settings and export settings, all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and press export. And then you can go ahead and you can just like export all of them at once if you want to or go ahead and go through in one at a time. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and export with previous. And then all of the photos should pop up on your desktop. So yeah, that includes my very first Adobe Basics video about how to create a preset in Lightroom. I hope this was really helpful for you guys. Let me know if you liked it down below. And yeah, and let me know if you have any suggestions for Adobe Basics videos that you would want me to make in the future. I'd really appreciate it. All right, thank you guys.